वेलकम एवरी वन सो येस मैनी पीपल डिड नॉट नो वेयर टू स्टार्ट ओके सो वेन यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस योर वी हैव एटी वन रेस टू एक्स एंड योर वी हैव एक्स रेस टू एटी द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट यू शुड डू इन दिस काइंड ऑफ फर्स्ट इन एरियो यू नो दैट इज लेट मी राइट इट ओवर योर ओके सो वी हैव एटी वन रेस टू एक्स एंड योर वी हैव एक्स रेस टू एटी सो इन दैट केस फर्स्ट वील टेक द नंबर्स ऑन वन साइड सो बेसिकली वी आर ट्राइंग टू टेक द एटीन रूट ऑन both sides so basically taking the root is nothing but what taking the index and multiplying both sides by 1 upon 18 okay so here what will happen is you are this 18 and 18 gets cancelled and i'm left with what 81 raised to 1 upon 18 into x okay and here i'm left with just x The next step, what you should do in that case is you will take the x root. Basically, what I'm trying to do is taking all the variables on one side and all the numbers on another side. Okay, so taking the x root on both sides. So here, what will happen is this and this gets cancelled. So now I'm just left with what eighty one raised to one upon eighteen, and here I'm left with x raised to one upon x. Okay. Now, students, please understand. Here, what we can do is instead of eighty one, I can write this eighty one as nothing but what nine square, the whole raised to one upon eighteen. Okay, and here it is equals to x raised to one upon x. Okay. Next, what we can do is see in indices, it's very clear that there is a rule which says a raised to m, the whole raised to n can be written as a raised to m into n. So basically, now your question changes to nine raised to two into one upon eighteen. Here we are left with x raised to one upon x. And next, you can see this is ones are and nines are. So now this looks like nine raised to one upon nine equals to x raised to one upon x. So now from here I can say therefore value of x is nothing but what just nine. Okay. So now let's try and put this over here. Okay. So if I say that basically this is what nine raised to what eighteen. Okay. And we want to make sure that this results as nothing but what eighty one raised to nine. Now let's understand. See nine raised to eighteen. This we need to prove. Okay. So nine raised to eighteen can be written as what nine raised to two into nine. Correct. And using the same law, I can write this as nine square the whole raised to nine, which gets you eighty one raised to nine, which is your RHS. So hence, I can say that the value of x is what nine for this particular question. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.